But let me let me just let you guys know something. I'm teaching my daughter to drive. And as many of you who have experienced this in your life, you realize sometimes you are at fault. Let me explain. On Sundays, to kind of eliminate some of my stresses, I often throw my daughter the keys and tell her just to pull the car up. And so what ends up happening is I get a phone call. Hello? I right away know who it is. Dad, I can't get the car to start. So then I have to go through the process. Some of the fundamental things I thought I taught her. Is the car in park? Check. Did you mess with the steering wheel? Is it locked? Nope. Check. Is your foot on the brake? Check. Are you turning the key on? Check. Are you turning the key the correct way? Because you see, when you turn the key towards you, it won't start. But if you turn the key away from you, it will start. What ends up happening is Ella's turning the key the wrong way. You know what? That's a fundamental aspect of car starting the car. In order for you to start the car, you need to turn the key away from you. So, okay, daddy, I got it. All right, I get another phone call. Brrr. Yes, Ella, I know it's Ella again. The car won't move. I put it in gear and it rolled backwards. You guys, I think she had the car in reverse. Me thinking she understood all the fundamental things, I realized I didn't teach her that you need to put the car in drive. So I began to explain to her what that looks like. Cause here's what I want. I need her to go from there to this destination. And in order for her to get from where she was to the correct destination, she needed to utilize all the fundamental aspects of driving. Here's the deal. God has a destination that he's taking us. And in order for us to get there, there are some fundamental things he wants us to learn. That's why we're putting on foundations course. Do you know who God is? Do you know his characteristics? Do you realize how much he truly loves you? By sending his son, Jesus, what made and paved the way for us as believers to boldly come before the throne of God. How many of us are still stuck in a parking lot because we don't understand the voice of God? Understanding the voice of God is understanding the Holy Spirit. Have you spent time with him? Do you know what his word says? Do you know that God loves you? Do you know that he is the God of love, the God of creator of heaven and earth, that he is a just God? That means that he has boldly made a way for you and I to come before his throne. When you put your car in reverse, you and I know that that's not gonna get you going forward. So you have to shift it down to drive. Well, do you realize that in your walk with God, sometimes you need to get off your butt and start to do things. What we want you to understand is there are some fundamental truths about God that you need to know. His characteristics, how he does things, what he will and will not do. Because God loves you, he wants you to know these things as well. I believe that's why Jesus came here to earth. Because he wanted to show us some of the fundamental truths about God. That he's not just this God that's up in heaven that don't care about everyday life. He cares about you, he cares about me. So we want to help you guys understand these things because we know how important it is for each believer to have the fundamental understanding of God. So we're going to kick the engine off and we're going to start this off in September and you can sign up today.